about three to four months ago, I was, I was sitting somewhere in Florida. I think it was Tallahassee, Florida. And I was thinking about the best way to uh, expand my business. So I was thinking about business funding and I was thinking about getting a business line of credit. And uh, a friend of mine just said, you know, why don't you just go with uh, Funbox? And the thing is, I've dealt with Funbox in the past and it wasn't a good recollection for me. And I was thinking about maybe a Blue Vine or a Landio or a Smart Base or other players in the industry. But my friend insisted. He said, "Go with, with go with Funbox," and and I'm glad I did because I actually uh, was a good uh, was a good successful uh, I would say application for me. I actually got one twenty seven thousand dollars, and this this was really good. And uh, so I really wanted to explain what I did here into this conversation. So the first thing the first thing I did was the thing is I wanted to get to know Funbox a little better. And with Funbox, you can get a business line of credit up to $150,000. So the limit here is $150,000. So the cool thing is that Funbox, I knew that I could do a lot of things with Funbox. They're not actually, uh, they're not really restrictive in terms of the use of line proceeds. You know, some lenders, they want to uh, put restrictions on you in terms of how, what you can, what you can use the business line of credit for. And Funbox is really lenient. Okay. So you can use the cash for, you can use the cash for payroll, buying inventory, purchasing raw materials, maintenance, and more. So you have a, a constellation of options that you can use of, of operational uh, capabilities. You can actually use your fund box line of credit for. And so you have a quick application. You can actually apply like within uh, three to five minutes. I applied for like When I applied, it took me about two minutes. It was, it was so fast. I was surprised. And you have fast, you have a very fast access to funds and you have flexible repayment terms. So this is kind of cool. Okay. But the, 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 what's really better is that what I love about the whole application process is that I actually could get it through a soft pull first. Cause I didn't, I didn't you know, I always want, I want to go with the uh, lenders who allow me to have a soft pull. I don't want to actually, uh, actually uh, just risk my FICO score anytime I apply for a business loan or a personal loan for that matter. So, uh, Funbus actually uh, was really great, and you know they, they and when they approved me, they actually uh, wired the cash to uh, my account within uh, 24 hours. It took about 24 to 26 hours. Actually, I got approval on a Monday, Monday around 10 a.m. Eastern, and by Tuesday around noon, I got my got my funds in my bank account. So that, that was really really good. It was really fast too, and it was easy. I couldn't believe it. It was really easy as well. And so the first thing I did was, you know, after acquainting myself with the Funbox business line of credit, I wanted to know whether I qualified. And so I looked at the, the Funbox uh, like qualification process, like their requirements. So they said you have to be based in the U.S. You got to have a 600 minimum FICO score. You got, your business has to generate $100,000 in annual revenue. So $100,000. Rem remember that number because that number is quite essential. And uh, you got to have a business checking account and you got to be ideally six months in business minimum so i said you know i i, I really uh, check all the boxes and, you know I, I was cool i was like you know my FICO score is really high and, and, all, and all that kind of all, all that kind of stuff but one thing that uh, one area where funbox really shines is the fact that they use um, like uh, technology to accelerate the uh, business line of credit process see the thing is when you have uh, if you've been if you've been if you have been in this business for a long time you know what it is when it comes to applying for a business line of credit at a traditional bank, at a traditional credit union. And I use the word traditional very purposeful, purposefully here because, you know, sometimes when you look at their processes, their operational processes and how they do things, you think, wow, they're really traditional. Like you know, back in the days when, when my grandfather was a young man, like they used to do things very slowly. So some banks, I mean, and I'm talking about the big banks too, like the Chase of the world, the Bank of America of the world, they're really slow sometimes. And I'm like, okay, you know, my ass is out of here. You know, I know you guys have a strong balance sheet. You can actually uh, give me a lot of, like a, a larger amount, but I, I'd rather go with uh, a very nimble, a very nimble uh, lender such as Funbox that can approve me within 24 hours. That can approve me within uh, within 48 hours, as opposed to a large, as a large, uh, you know, uh, I would say Titanic bank that will approve me for a large amount. Of course, yeah, I, I get a large amount, but I get that amount within two weeks or within three weeks, if ever. So I, I was really, really curious about that. So when you think about the uh, Funbox and if, and you think about eligibility requirements, just remember you got to be based in the U.S. You got to have a uh, 600 minimum FICO score. You got to have $100,000 in annual revenue, your business, and you, you got to have a business checking account and you got to, you got to be in ideally six months in business. They pay attention a lot to uh, operational longevity. So the six months, this is like a benchmark. So if you are, if you are a startup, as long as you have passed the six months, Funbox thinks that you actually have, has survived, you know, the first six months. So you must be doing, you must be doing something right. 
you know you must do something right so it is what it is and you know whether they're right or, or wrong that's what it is i want to really go a little granular because uh the, what i said before was the short answer to do i qualify you know the the do i qualify for a fund box business line of credit so i give the short answer i want to quickly take the time to give the long answer because things are not that that easy like you can't just qualify because you are based in the u.s you are making one hundred thousand dollars in annual revenue you you have you are you have in business for six months you that's what i thought too like you have a fico score of 600 and you have a business checking account things are things actually took way way longer like you know <laughs> you know it's not really that comp it's not really it's not that complicated but it's also not that easy let me just put it that way so when i talk about the like when i say for for instance to, you you got to have one hundred thousand dollars in in annual revenue. That means you also have to pre to to prepare financial statements, right? So you have to prepare like a, a complete income statement that shows indeed that you have been generating at least one hundred thousand dollars in annual revenue. So you, you can't just say, well, yeah, you know, I, I I've been making one hundred thousand dollars. How do you prove it? How do you substantiate that statement? So you you, you do it through uh, a, I would say a complete set of financial statements. So we're talking about a balance sheet. We're speaking about an income statement. We're speaking about a statement of cash flows. We're speaking about a statement of owner's equity. Also, don't forget to have the uh, the disclosure notes that accompany a complete set of financial statements because a lot of times, uh, you know, a, a lot of pre people think, and this is a mistake, they think that uh, when we talk about a, a complete set of financial statements, you only have to have three or four statements. No, but the disclosure notes the accompanying statements are also part of uh, the financial statements because those disclosure notes will actually uh, reflect whatever assumptions you took, whatever assumptions you made while preparing the uh, the accounting the, like the, the the accounting reports. Those are things that Fundbox really pays attention to. So you got to have collateral if needed. In terms of business operating time, they look at your uh, articles of incorporation or organization to see whether or not you have been in you have been in business for six months. Indeed, sometimes they will ask for a certificate of good standing from the state to again to make sure that you are indeed in business for that long. And uh, they look at uh, some kind of economic ratios, things like debt to equity, current ratio, your debt service coverage ratio, your fixed charge coverage ra coverage ratio to make sure again that your business is financially viable. And one thing I realized as I was doing research for Fundbox, the business line of credit was that I was I was so happy when I found out that Fundbox recently has added two new programs for their business funding, uh, I would say budget business funding pipeline. So in addition to the Fundbox business line of credit, now they have the Fundbox FlexPlay, which is really great because with Fundbox FlexPlay, you can actually have peace of mind that important business expenses can be paid on time. And, and I love that a lot because for me in my business, Cash flow can be really, uh, I would say, sporadic. Can be random, and I always had a problem when it comes to uh, when it, when it comes time to reconciling my business cash flow. So, when, you know, a product such as the Funbox Flexplay was really great for me because it gives me uh, it, it gives me peace of mind. I'm able to actually uh, like I know that my most important expenses can be paid on time. I have more time to pay, so I get three extra business days to repay. Like when I go through uh, the Funbox uh, Flexplay. Flex pay rather. I have no. I don't have to pay any fees at all. It, whether when I pay via ACH or debit card, there there's really great. But if I pay via other means, I have a small processing fee. When I you know that's kind of that's kind of fine. And uh, so I love I love that I love the flexibility that that uh, Funbox is is uh, introducing here. So basically, this is how things work. And uh, so you get your Flex account details. So once you've logged in and signed the Flex pay terms and conditions. Your newly created Flex account details will be available in your dashboard. So you you simply copy the account and routing number and paste them into your vendor's payment platforms. And uh, so Fundbox will use uh, your Flex account to pay your expenses when they receive the ACH request from your vendors. And uh, so and then you get your Flex account details. So you have everything there and you pay with your Flex account. That's very easy. And you repay your way. So you can repay from your, from your dashboard within three business days with no fees when you pay by ACH. Otherwise, the outstanding amount will automatically continue as a draw on your available line of credit up to your, your available credit limits on a 12 or 24 week term based on your preferences. So this is kind of cool because basically, and the thing is if you if you don't have enough balance, enough credit available, what will happen here is that Fundbox will uh, debit the difference from your primary business bank account. So they always cover their, their assets anyway. But this is kind of cool because it gives you uh, more more leeway in terms of uh, you know paying your vendors. So this is kind of cool. If you, you might want to uh, actually consider that if you are in, like, 
I personally, I I signed up right away because I needed to have that, that kind of program in my uh, payment option. So I love that the fun, the fun box flex pay. And uh, so as I was doing research, I was asking myself, do I really need the, to have a, a fun box flex account? Do I really need that? And why do I need it? I mean, is it because I'm, I was having problems in terms of payments, in terms of cash inflows versus cash outflows in my business? Or is it just because, uh, is it, is, is this just a reflection of bad management? Like I couldn't really handle my business and I needed to have extra cash. And it, it really turned out it was not, it was none of that. It was just a combination of, uh, I would say a uh, conjectural things, like things that were like uh, temporary, like the economy is going through stuff right now. And I said, you know what? I needed to actually breathe in the meantime. I really need to, I needed to have like uh, some kind of bailout, not a bailout, like the traditional sense of bailout, but to, 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 have, to have access to uh, additional cash. So actually, um, basically I use a flex account, like the flex pay to replace online bill pay, to pay invoices, to pay with PayPal or Venmo, to cover payroll. I mean, you, you will not believe it. Yeah. To cover payroll. Because the thing is that, uh, you know, you know, if, if I, let's say, um, like if I have an important business expense that I don't want to or cannot put on a credit card, then I use FlexPay because I can use FlexPay for payroll, insurance, taxes, raw materials, inventory, leases, and more. You know, th there are some expenses that you can't put, you can't put on a credit card. Even if you have like, if you have a large, if you have a large limit on a credit card, but you can't put the, the cash on that credit card, then uh, you are really out of luck. So this is kind of a, you know, this is a, where FlexPay really, really plays an important role. And I'm so glad that uh, Funbox is introducing that product now that I, that folks like uh, like business owners, like like uh, I, like me rather, like me can actually uh, take advantage of that. And I love the fact that you have a flexibility in terms of repaying. Okay, so the, the, and now things are not like, you're not paying anything unless you pay, you repay with a credit card. If you repay with a credit card, then uh, there is a small processing fee. And uh, so FlexPay will let you know once you actually sign up, they'll let you know. And uh, so now if you don't have, I want to insist, if you don't have enough available credit when it's time to repay, what will happen here is that the outstanding balance will automatically continue as a draw on your credit line up to your available credit limit. If you don't have enough credit to cover the entire FlexPay transaction, Fundbus will debit the difference from your connected business bank account. If you remember, you actually connected a bank account when you sign up with, with the Fundbox. Another product that Fundbox recently introduced is still in development though, but I, I was so I was so curious and so excited to share with uh, with everybody. It's actually, uh, they call it Fundbox Plus. So when you upgrade to Fundbox Plus, you unlock 20% lower fees, more time to pay and exclusive benefits. So it, it sounds like a new program whereby Funbox is trying to really give to uh, its uh, most loyal customers, but also uh, it has to be a win-win, right? They are also trying to generate extra revenue. So it has to be a win-win transaction for, for Funbox uh, Plus, I would say subscribers. So the thing is that you, you can actually apply directly for Funbox Plus from the app, from the Funbox app. You can get a, you can get a decision in minutes and you can draw funds on the go. So you, so you can set, you can actually see fees upfront no surprises and you never miss an opportunity you always have you always know your available credit so what i love about the uh, funbox plus at least from the little digging that, that we did was that it, it's going to be more transparent it's, it's going to be more like uh like easier to to get to qualify for credit for i was like okay this is really good you know i, I love that i love i really love that and the thing is that when as i was trying to really understand uh like clarify my strategies for a funbox line of credit I was always thinking about the perfect application. Like what, what would the perfect application look for? And the perfect application will, will actually vary whether or not, like it will vary from a secured to unsecured line of credit. So like the conditions would not be the same if I was going for a secure, secure line of credit at uh, Fundbox versus if I was going for, if I were going for an unsecured line of credit. So the thing is, if for example, if I were choosing, if I were, if I were going the unsecured this is not a credit application. I'll basically uh, put everything, my, my business plan, my uh, financial statements, my tax returns, my, um, my, um, yeah, my, my, uh, my income, my proof of income. So everything that shows that, Hey, listen, I do make money. If I, if I was, if I were going for a secured, this is not, this is not a credit. I will actually add all the, the things that I just listed in addition to the collateral information, right? So what I, I was actually, what I'm going to collateralize the line of credit with so that that uh, 
fund box will be comfortable and say, okay, we'll grant you the cash because we know that you have a perfect collateral. And the thing is, before I actually hit the the su submit application button, I wanted to uh, think one last time whether or not it was a great thing. To, it was the best thing for me to do at this point. Like, should I get a line of credit from a fund box or get a line of credit at all? Because, you know, I wanted to get a line of credit because I had uh, some uh, cash gaps in my business. You know, there was a uh, temporary liquidity gaps. You know, customers were playing games. We, we, we're like we're not really selling that much these days we haven't uh, reduced revenue so i wanted to think about another way to actually survive so i think so I, as i was thinking about uh, a fund box business line of credit i wanted to see whether or not i was comfortable with uh, the pros and cons of course I, I would be comfortable with the pros but i wanted to see whether or not i was comfortable with the cons and if i could survive the cons then i could i could be fine like i would be, i'll be really really fine so the thing is, when, when I think about the, the pros and cons of uh, the business line of credit, that's the announced secured, whether I get it from Fundbox or another player, I knew that I had flexible access. I knew that the interest only, I, I, I'm only going to pay interest only on the portion of credit that I use, sort of. And uh, I could establish a great lender borrower relationship with Fundbox. I could have a better business credit rating. So Fundbox will report my data to uh, the business credit, credit agency, like the rating agencies, Experian, Equifax, and Dun & Bradstreet. I could potentially have lower interest and lower fees. I knew that right off the bat, that really maybe that will, this will be, this was a great opportunity for me to actually find what I needed. And um, so those were the pros, right? Now, in terms of cons, I realized that, you know, the application process can be complicated. That's what I told you from the beginning that what you can actually get done in two two days or one day from a fund box, you get it done like uh, in two weeks from a, a regular bank, like a, a traditional bank or a traditional credit union because they probably have a, a larger cost base and they have a larger bureaucracy. And they want to do certain ways. Okay, that's just what it is. But with the big bank, you were paying well, wait, more, big, but you were paying for the comfort. You know, you're paying for the fact that feeds can add up. You're paying for too much debt. You're paying for the fact that you can actually, uh, you know, have a credit card and you go and you go in any state and still and still be comfortable. So at the end of the day, you want to also pay attention to the timing of your application. Like, don't apply for a fund box business line of credit like randomly. You want to plan things. You want to make sure that you you coincide. You coincide your loan app, your line of credit application with the large payments from a vendor. That way, you are showing positive numbers when you apply. Okay, of course, Funbox is not is not fool, it's not a fool. They've been in this business for a while. They know all the things I'm telling you. But it, it's always good to have that. It's always good to know that you are showing positive numbers. 